Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Lucky UZB and General Zevs. And uh, my partner is Error404 in the map Cryo Base. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, as well as ring or click the notification or the bell icon to be notified of any upcoming contents out of my channel. Without further ado, let's go jump straight into it. <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna be the yellow player partner is going to be the red player let's go collecting those containers obviously is a must okay let's see how they are progressing very very good and now i'm trying to have to i'm trying to capture this container right here as you guys can see okay his net was super bad because uh, at this point in time the battle or the server was ultra laggy yes so there's absolutely no way for me to win this fight so i'm going to have to just retreat and then of course fight another day as like there's two servers right here one is class 9 one is class 9 or both of them has class 9 servers and i only have like a class 7 measly wasp so that's not really good. Now, instead, I'm just going to expand my base or work on expanding my base any further. And of course, hide some infantry in the bushes so that I can gain view all over the map to avoid any impeding Seraphim whatever shenanigans. Alright, so there you go. Level 3 vehicle factory going HQ level 4 and of course a porcupine. A good scout right here revealing that there is already a seraphim um or seraphim is on the way there goes my partner also has a hawk tried to help out against those assault and servers and then obviously that vertex i can't really do nothing about oh okay so yeah wow just how many shots does that vertex need to take before it can be taken out by the hawk. Okay, a Seraphim now. Five minute mark before even the six minutes. Alright, so it's still actually good because of the fact that there are hawks here. Although that Seraphim can actually deal some damage on that airfield. Preventing more hawks from being produced. Or at least taking out one of the hawk that is out of fuel. Or close to running out of fuel. Okay, more porcupines here on my end. Okay, getting rid of some scouts. He already has like four hawks and going HQ for himself and additional um, special vehicle factory. Meanwhile, on my end, two special vehicle factory, actually three special vehicle factory and going for that juicy Leviathan. Scout right here, revealing what I have from uh, scout, scout from General Zebs. I also kept this uh, Dragonfly detachment around there for later uses in the game as I have plans for it. Okay, so Leviathan around here going to be produced, level 3 special vehicle factory, mammoths, porcupine, jaggers, and some additional dragonflies. We see those uh, Vertex and Hawk having a skirmish around there. Again, super container appearing right here. Okay, just a typhoon to collect that to, uh, super container on Era 404 side. And typhoon actually got it. And then he'll just retreat. Okay. Well, that's a good... Uh, touch there by lucky uzb oh super container will be collected however with the exchange of my hawks and two of lucky uzb's vertex so i would say that's still really a big win for us i collected the container lost 300 resources my partner destroyed 600 worth of resources in addition to those cyclones and some assaults has been annihilated so far my army is looking good four mammoths five jaguars Two chameleons, mole, wasp will uh, be reproduced, and now dragonfly. Okay, so if you notice, I have like hidden infantry scattered across the map, no near the borders of our bases, so that of course I can gain any view of what's going on. I force fired on some of my armadillos to destroy it effectively, as I need more command points to get more key unit or core units. Scout here made by Era 404. Okay absolutely wicked okay 
just a cyclone for this guy and ooh pretty much clash of clans okay all right so going hq level five at this point since i already have full command points and i well basically have enough and would like to have more units i also had some of my porcupines um accompany my army here of dragonfly wasp leviathan as i initially planned to attack with them on a separate as a separate detachment meanwhile i moved out trying to position myself into attacking the cn player or general zebs however he actually attacked me first Okay, he can't really see the Leviathan as to where it is. Okay, I destroyed the barracks as it actually obstructs my positioning. Level 5 HQ is almost done. Let's see how my partner is doing. Construction yard to expand his base. Two special vehicle factory and one avia. As well as eight hawks. And then some units. Okay. And here we go. Skill activated. Destroyed one. Two. Two. Okay, one Jaguar and a Mammoth, severely ja damaging the Chameleon, although it's going to be repaired anyway. And absolutely nothing was destroyed, for I only have like three Porcupines around here. Because I actually had some of the Porcupines accompany my small detachment of Dragonfly, Wasp, and a Leviathan around here to attack while his main army is out of position and my main army to protect my base against the attack. Okay now... Again, scout here. Switch now to come and attack. As I tried to contest this to engage their army and distract the CN player from defending his base. As you guys can see, there's still no initial um, reaction from the CN player at this point. He's not even retreating for he's not aware of this detachment. And my main force is engaging his army. So technically in the event that he retreated, his Zeus will face, will not face my Jaguar. So yeah, it'll be facing me backwards. So yeah, I mean, basically I have the upper hand here regardless if he retreats or not. Okay now, and we see some Vertex around here who was, I don't know, managed to scout my stuff or saw my stuff, destroying a power plant and... Well, I was streaming that time. So there was absolute magic here that there's like four anti-ear that's already built before my stuff even arrived without scouting. Mm. Sounds stream sniping. Well, anyway. Okay. So I took out the power plant in the hopes of, well, unpowering those uh, anti-ear towers. And uh, yeah. Lag just had to kick in, and yeah, maxed out Ver uh, Leviathan anti-air, demolishing four Vertex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's why I told anyone, or everyone, that maxing out the anti-air, four Vertex will not really scare your Leviathan away, for you can absolutely demolish those four. Meanwhile, going on this side of the map, again... He's trying to retreat, however, he's taking damage from those mammoths that are sieging, siege hopping. Meanwhile, um, Era 404 here engaging the army of the lucky UZB, and there's like Thors around here as well, which explains why less Vertex are available. Yeah, uh, by the way guys, and during the stream, this battle was super laggy at this point in time, or specifically at this point in time, and that's where I actually lost this detachment i was not even able to use the leviathan skill because of the leg yeah in boy and yeah my forces are also stuck right here instead of attacking or following up with the attack with all this confusion going on yeah just now the lag is uh yeah the lag's been fixed however it's too late as i already lost my leviathan Meanwhile, my partner shredding those units apart due to lack of typhoons. However, he had really has no ground unit to follow up finish through the attack. Meanwhile, on my end, my attack or my attack with the uh, separate detachment actually dealt a huge chunk of damage to his units and typhoons as well as his HQ being taken out. Okay, so spreading my army apart right here. Destroyed one porcupine. And that's absolutely it for you as you will be demolished by a hard-hitting mammoth.
Okay, so this guy only has like what? Um, Jaguar Chameleon, Hawk as an anti air, as well as the Leviathan. Okay. Fast forward a bit, and there was those Thors who actually bombed me as I actually did not saw them at this point in time because of, well, again, I could not really pan around the map with the circle thing going on inside, you know, in front of my face. And my mammoths are gonna have to try and demolish that X facility and have the map, the, the Zeus and the other stuff focus on my mole as it is very tanky with its passive ability. Meanwhile, those uh, Vertex are actually scoring a huge number on my mammoths because of my chameleons running out of energy. Okay, activating chameleons right there. All right. Okay, so a bunch of my mammoths have been destroyed thanks to a uh, chameleon running out of energy. Additional uh, vertex here. I only got like one porcupine. Okay. Meanwhile, on my uh, on Era Four Hundred Four's end, he's gonna go ahead and absolutely try and smash this guy right here. However, there's completely a lack of uh, Jaguar cut here. However, a solid acid burst has been dropped, but the Leviathan is nowhere near to follow with the attack due to the fact that he is very slow. Again, Thor bombing run did not really bomb effectively, but still that therapy managed to destroy some stuff along with the Vertex earlier. However, it's gonna be for naught since, well, basically, there's absolutely nothing that this Saiyan player can do without those factories in land, uh, on the land or on his base. Here we go, error 404, trying to dish out the damage on this blue player and will be punished accordingly for going both aviation like the Thors and the Bombers. Very good attacks right there as those all those Vertex are very squishy that even the machine guns were, were able to finish off the rest of the Vertex that are low on HP. Solid nuclear hit. This guy will be cleaned up. And yeah, at this point in time, it's not really looking good for this confed, folks. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that's going to be it for today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, again, smash the like button. Ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Likewise, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Oh, and that was a solid bombing right? Oh, I almost forgot guys. I do have guide videos, so do check out my channel, go on playlist, and select guide videos for you to be guided as to which unit to upgrade, the best unit to upgrade, or upgrade guide in general for all buildings and unit, as well as, well, um, best build order, um, best build order if there was land or full, um, I mean if there was ocean and full land army compositions, best build order or build path, deployment time, deployment stages, what's the best stuff to do to build, to build as fast as you can and get more boxes at the start of the game, giving you an advantage. Alright, thank you so much for watching, have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Oh, and that's a lot of Thors. Okay, well, that was not really a good bombing run. Should have been this one instead. GG. Bye now.